go really excited. I know. Got all your equipment. Keys. Salt. Alright, go do your job. Alright. How would you like to do I do that? Go into the rooms and make sure they're empty. Make sure nothing or no one's in there. Follow me. Spilt them in, guys, trying to spread out around the edges from the sides. Yeah. <laughs> Try and get in a bit quicker, guys. This room holds quite a dark past. There was once a girl who lived in this room. She had this special ballerina box that she'd have with her at all times. She wouldn't go anywhere without it. She'd have it on repeat all the time. And one day it was taken from her. She thought she couldn't live without it. And the next day she was found dead. Yeah, I don't think there's anything in here. I think we should go. Come on, let's go. Let's open this door. Yeah. You see, I've worked with many people over the past few years. Nobody's really seemed to manage it. So. I didn't know what I was getting myself into when I first started. Still here, five years later. How could you still work here then? Guys, shut at the back. Because I need the money. <laughs> I guess so. Times are hard. <laughs> Good evening, mortals. I'm sure you don't recognise us. This is my beautiful wife, Luna. And this is my dear husband, Rebo. But you can call me Leo. Excuse me a moment. I uh, have to take this. Ah, Master Lucifer. Yes, sir. We're here with your subjects now. 
Yes, sir. <coughs> of course, sir. <coughs> yes, sir. Sounds like a great idea. Of course, Master. Yes, I can feel the darkness radiating from me. It's exciting. By the way, Master Lucifer says, Welcome to the good place. <laughs> <laughs> now, does anybody have any questions? No? Well, we were prepared some earlier. Don't worry, they're covered safe. You, there, with the white. The white question. How did you get to hell? Well, that's a very funny story, isn't it? Rather long story. Well, you see, you're sat in the middle place between heaven and hell. So, you're going to hell. What a shame. So, you stand up, you go down the corridor, you take three lefts, two rights, another two lefts and a right. You come up to a door, it's really big, it's red, it's beautiful. Above it are the words hell. So, you open the door. And you fall 500 miles down into the earth's crust. <gasps> onto a rather comfortable bed of spikes and flames. Oh, and snakes. Snakes! Oh, don't worry, darling, they're both dead. <sighs> Next question. Yep. Who has the yellow? How old are you? Well, I'm 1500. And I'm roughly 1498 years old. Lady in her youth. Oh, stop. <laughs> Orange? Who were you? <laughs> That's a, quite a complicated story, isn't it? Yes, it is. Well, you see, we were the original Adam and Eve. You see, Lucifer, Satan, corrupted us with just an apple. Yes, I am ashamed to admit that. But we are his favourite companions and the favourite devilish couple. Who has the red? Your question, please. How long have you been together? Well, well uh, since, since death. death. <laughs> <laughs> and final question, black. What do your horns represent? Well. I have two horns because I have corrupted roughly four million people. Yes, and I only one million as I only have the one horn. And, and uh, you're, you're next! next. <laughs> This is the basement. Nobody really goes in there. Wait, the room on it. Yeah. Audience, hold your pen and squid out.
Alex White. What was that? It was just a chair. What was that? What was that? What was that? What was that? Don't worry. I'm not going to hurt you. Not yet. What am I to the world? What? But well, I know some who might. My faithful assistant is the ballerina. Now, let's get the real show started. What? Two meters apart. Don't want to get COVID now, do we? Like Harley did. Unfortunately, <laughs> that's why she's not here. Now, since we're all oh, I am okay, we got another one with us. See him at the back. You all look nervous. Is it the scars? You want to know I got him? You see, my mother was a drinker and a fiend. One night, she comes home crazier than usual. She comes in after a long night out, as usual. And she tells me I worry too much. I'm never happy. Then I, I've got to smile more. So you know what? She decides she's had enough of me. Then she walks into the kitchen laughing while she does it. And out of all things, she grabs a deck of cards off the side and picks a card out. She says, why so serious? Comes at me with the card and says, why so serious? She sticks the card in my mouth, forcing, wedging it into my mouth. She says, let's put a smile on that face. And, why so serious? <laughs> now, I'm going to ask you all something. This card that I have in my very hand is what gave me my notorious name. You, what do you think? Hard was. Joker. Correct. What? <laughs> now, after that history lesson, thank you all for listening. <laughs> Something's funny. I'm glad I'm the Joker. I make people laugh. <laughs> You're all here for the main reason. And that is to meet your destiny. You're all gonna die tonight. Slowly and painfully. But you know what? That's what it's all about! <laughs>